Christmas Eve. We didn't plan this. Me and Eric are matching. We both have black shorts that have red in them. <laughs> we both have a red shirt on. And we both have a red magic band on. Look at that, we match. Our, our shoes are different, but... Wait, you have white socks and black shoes. I have black socks and white shoes. <laughs> We really matched today. Thanks. This is our last day on our advent calendar, day 24, because Santa comes tonight. This is the biggest one, right? Should we yeah. open it up and eat it? Mm -hmm. Cheers. thought they would be this far. It's about 1.30. There was really like no traffic coming in. We came on the bus, but even looking over into like the car entrance, there was really like no traffic. It is later in the day, and I think a lot of people come on Christmas Eve, they come for a rope drop. Far, but I mean, sometimes I, we I see this in you know the summertime. So right, I know we see crowds this bad in the summer. So far, everywhere we've gone, the crowds are kind of like very spread out. It's really not that bad. It might get bad. All right, the castle show just ended, so everybody's leaving. So this is a little bit bad. Well, this is a lot of it bad, but. Thank you. Thank you.
take pictures of us as we go by. This is the view of where he's gonna take pictures of us from. Right? Right. 210 minute wait. That is outrageous. You gotta guess, how long of a wait do you think this is? I think it's uh, 175. 10 minutes. I'm close. <laughs> Crazy. I'm doing the math. I want to know how many hours that is. I could probably do it in my head, but that would take too long. 210 divided by 60. Three and a half hour wait. It's a three and a half hour wait. That's crazy. That's insane. Fast pass wasn't even long. We literally walked up all this and we just stopped up here. You feel nothing. 
We were gonna do the carousel, but that's the line. All the way through down there. So after I just said how long the carousel line is and how there's no way we're gonna do it, guess where we are? Online for the carousel. We've probably been in line for like what, five minutes? 25 minutes to go. It was a 30 minute wait from back there, and we're pretty far, so. outside separated by ropes and then it goes inside through the regular parasol line. Just kidding, we got offline. What on line for your pants? Yeah. Alexa. Where you did the cat dog I'm a puffer fish. I'm a puffer fish. I look like a puffer fish. I don't know why. Why are you with me this all time? So we're on the Peter Pan on the Fast Pass line. The standby line is over a two and a half hour wait. take us early because we're hungry now and we don't want to do anything else. Too many lines. Yeah, there's too many lines. We're already in the area. So, fingers crossed that they can take us early at all. All right, let's say be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. She 
is over there. I feel like over right behind me. You left me by myself. So since they're fully booked, you can only check in 15 minutes before your reservation time. So we have another hour. Maybe we could go to um, Mine Trade again. Christmas is tomorrow. As you all know, Pascal's up. Look at him. Like his head is to the side. He really looks like he's hugging me. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Should I get him? Should I get him? What are your thoughts? I think I need him. Like look, I would literally walk around like this. All right, we're getting Erica Buzz one so that we can match. And we're getting him these cars that he picked out a few times he said he liked. For Christmas, this is getting wrapped for Christmas too. I'm so excited. Look at how cute he is. I'm also picking out. This popcorn I've never seen, blueberry almond. Those are literally my two favorite things in one. I was looking all over for Goofy's Candy Company to realize that they changed all the packaging. And these are the gummy worms that I always get and I didn't even notice them. All right, it's 7.30, we're online. Hopefully this line takes 15 minutes. There's like a few people ahead of us. Okay, so something we do every Christmas, well, every Christmas Eve, me and Eric call this place called NORAD's, NORAD Track Santa, so you can go on their website, I think it's norad.com or something, and you can look at the map and it tells you where Santa and a sleigh is, or you can call the phone number and actually speak to someone, and you tell them where you're from, and they tell you about the time that Santa will be coming to bring presents to where you are, so we're going to call NORAD right now, find out where he is. Where's Santa? We're finding out. All of my Santa trackers are currently online under color. We have to call back. Please indicate Santa has locked off from the North Pole. The Santa tracker will be with you in a moment. You may watch the incident online for an exciting Santa update at www.northsanta.org. Hi, could you tell us where Santa is right now? Yeah, he is in Chile and San Diego. Oh wow, and do you know when he's coming to Disney World? He will be at Disney World sometime between 9 and 12 tonight. Okay, thank you so much. Say thank you, Eric. Merry Christmas. Merry Say Christmas. Christmas. Can be nine. Okay. What time is Disney? Between 9 and 12? Minutes. No, between 9 and 12. 9 and 12. So Santa could be here in 40 minutes. Let's go eat! Maybe you guys. Oh. Yay! Where are you folks from? So when did you guys get in town? Uh, we got here on the 17th. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. We just started our new suitcase meeting about five months ago. We got a lot of feedback. People are going, you know, you can go to like, Who's down there? Oh my gosh! He's a really big guy, but he's very friendly. Look at the tree! So if you have a preference in the future, you can request and they'll be able to code like, I mean, you know, again, some people don't really care, but you can do
morning we had the menu that was like set prices so you get an appetizer an entree and then the desserts you get all three of the dessert options that they offer which is really cool but we took them to go because right now we're on our way to the after fireworks dessert party we get reserved seating for the fireworks which is at 10 and it's like a little after 9 30 right now and then after that they bring everybody over to the Tomorrowland area it's in the Tomorrowland Terrace and that's where all the desserts are and everything this is where we come after alright we're being taken to our viewing area
Joffrey's cold room. Oh my goodness. the entire dessert party. which is probably a good thing, but probably a bad thing because the bus could have just left. So, uh, don't really know what this means. But we'll let you guys know. So, we're on the bus right now, but I was very sleepy in the restaurant. I wanted to sleep in the stroller, and oh my gosh, I can't even, oh. I, I missed the fireworks when I was, I didn't hear the fireworks when I was doing it. It's all something like a dream or something. Yeah. It does? Yeah. This is Jesus in heaven. Okay, do 